Hi, how's it going? So today I'm going to teach you how to make this scene in the After Effects. So it's really easy and it's not a big deal. It's not a work science. So yeah, let's go. So first we're going to create a new composition, Ctrl M. And this is my setting. So you can copy them and just click OK. First, we're going to make a background. Ctrl Y. Uh, you can choose whatever the color you want click OK and you can add the S gradient radio and just do this and right here in the white you can like choose a black color something like this to make a little bit animated you can also add like the turbulence place right here as you can see can make like a uh, a little animation and you can just change the the settings to whatever you want like right here it's pretty good so holding alt click with the left button and just uh, type time asterisk like I guess 200 uh oh can be more like 400 make this like little animation right here to make this um, like poster it's really easy so press Q and in stroke but zero fill and that's good and just make a rectangle something like this right here and the rawness you can put like 30 something like this and we can put the effect as gradient radio again right here just decrease it like right here something like this i'm gonna put this gray and okay control d i'm gonna use this image of the human just put like right here and click right here to show these options truck mate so click right here and I just put the shape layer above it something like this as you can see Control t to make the test and i'll type a digital launch pad holding Control hold home Control home just increase it this font looks pretty good i'm gonna just change the the color and decrease it i'm gonna add this rocket put the effect fill and right here put white just a crescent and i'm gonna put like i don't know right here maybe i'm gonna make this light but like something different so uh right here um, press Q to go to rectangle 2 right here in the fill you can choose like the linear gradient and you can like choose just the colors to like whatever one if you click like right here you make another color and you can just um, choose whatever color you want so it will be something like this mm, let's see this I can delete okay I made some changes and it's looking pretty good so and um, right here gonna choose the same solid uh, we use it to like mate the the iman so click right here and it's a uh, layer 3 so it's layer so it's like layer 3 okay put it down uh, the iman something like this you can just decrease it and you can put the gaussian blur and remove this option and increase it like something like this press w you can just rotate and other thing you can do also it's click right here and select the ellipsitol 
right here in the field select the solid color uh, and you can choose whatever color you want and then choose like um, orange and uh, you can make like a solid holding shift you can make like a perfect uh, I don't know what name is this but yeah and just choose like the again the the layer to to make something like this can decrease it and again just by the gaussian blur remove this option and just increase it i prefer but the mode add or screen color edge looks good also but i'm gonna put just add mm. Increase a little bit. Just put like right here. Press T and decrease the opacity. To look something like this. On this solid right here, you can duplicate. So Control D. You can remove the S gradient. You can put like I guess right here. No, like right here. Toggle sets modes, click on this option. So, uh, like the shape layer will be like now uh, adjustment layer. And now we're gonna put the S half tone right here. Can increase the dots frequency. Click right here. Normal, we can choose like soft light to look something like this. And you can decrease it just to make like a little texture as you can see okay now and the tags you can add like a deep glow decrease it we can just copy and paste on the uh, our rocket as you can see have this like uh, rectangle and uh, to fix this we can just add the effect grow bounds oh I'm gonna increase it just to show to you and put the growth bounds above all the effects and just put like, I don't know, 555. Five, five. And as you can see, okay, it's pretty good. Uh, we can change also the, the text color. Maybe this, this digital, we can put like green. Yeah, okay, looks pretty good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like it, I like it. And yeah, that's perfect. So click right here, holding shift, click right here, control shift C, move all to move to no composition, and we can name it to like poster. And okay, we have it. Okay, to make this text uh, around the poster, it's a little bit tricky, but it's not a big deal in my point of view. <laughs> so first, we're gonna create a new composition and this composition and the width we can put like 4000 click ok and ctrl t and we're gonna add the text so i'm gonna add imangati and this right here holding ctrl alt home ctrl home ok just decrease a little bit uh something like this i guess press b and just put like right here Control d press b put like right here Control d press b but like uh right here holding Control press a also and just put like something like this you can also decrease it like this um, like right here so ctrl k the width you can decrease it just a little bit something like this and okay we're gonna uh, get this composition and put like right here you can decrease a little bit and put the cc cylinder yeah that's right and right in the shading but the ambient like uh, right here get this rotation and just make like where do you want like to be 
I'm gonna just increase a little bit and like I guess like right here it's pretty good so um here in render I'm gonna put like inside control the put this layer behind the poster uh and put like outside oh I inverted sorry so this layer but like above it and this right here but behind it and will look like this I'm gonna just adjust because as you can see the text is like above the the poster text so uh maybe something like this also I can just adjust like this text right here you can make it some changes also and okay it's looking pretty good as you can see I have this like rotation and it's really easy so I'm gonna use the um, S right here so just click press U but like some frames forward and just increase a little bit just copy this uh keyframes and copy them and okay it will look like this just f9 then click right here just put this graph right here okay you can uh, also add like the dissolve blur right here decrease a little bit of the blur amount and right here the blur on X click right here press O put some frames forward and just put uh, 100 to look to make this animation so copy them and paste to look something like this okay and now comes the hardest part in my point of view so first um click right here holding shift click right here but the 3d layer press ok and click right here no no and just link then on the no okay and uh, the i'm gonna press p on a poster holding shift press r and just click on the keyframes press U, press U again, put this frames forward and just make that like animation. So will be um I don't make like the same same animation, but will be really close. Will be something like this. Uh I prefer I guess will be better not using the position, but the scale so press s click right here just increase that okay f9 and just put this graph right here you can copy this and solve blur and this uh text you can put like a little bit forward to be something like this uh, if this bug it's happening to you just uh, get this a uh, layer just put uh, a little bit forward um, and this just put behind it okay and as you can see okay it's looking pretty good now we're gonna make like this uh rectangle animation and it is not that hard so click uh holding right here rectangle to and on the fill again but like red really black something like this and just make like um like yeah right here it's good so but like 30 of rectangle maybe a little bit less just make some adjustments okay it's looking pretty good i'm gonna just uh put 
like right here and I'm gonna add like the text so control T click right here and I'm gonna add uh, zero control out home control home just decrease it and I'm gonna put the GG counter pro so all those plugins effects and everything I use it have on my editors back so if you want to you can access below on the description okay and I promise it is really worth it and it's really good so click right here on the numbers and again put like uh, 100 uh, go to symbols prefix click right here and again change to percent okay so press p and put like right here as you can see and then uh, like uh, doesn't uh, like be uh, on the center so we need animate this okay but just decrease a little bit more and just make like on the center and okay click right here on the text click right here window extensions and animation kit you can use a uh, like whatever other tool you have it but this tool it's really good again have on my pack okay if you want to and have a lot of text animations so you can choose it like whatever you want and just click apply preset i'm gonna use this one just uh, apply and yeah looks like this uh dupl duplicate this <laughs> i don't know how can i say that just duplicate this layer and put the text behind it or on the bottom i don't know yeah two sets modes right here just put like the shape layer to look like this okay oh i forgot Control shift c on the text move out to boots and now we can put like the the shape layer you know press p no press p on the text click right here but some frames forward and just put like the button right here f9 make the same graph i used it before and again you can copy the solve blur effect Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and it will look like this. You can just okay. And right here on the shape layer, you can add the CC light sweep. You can increase a little bit of the sweep intensity and just make like something like this. Increase it to look something like this. Click right here, holding shift, click right here, control shift C, move out to boot. Uh, just link this layer on the node and I'm gonna position like right here. Right here, and it's looking pretty good. I can increase it a little bit. And we again just make the animation, so press B press and uh, like right here make the same animation as we did before you can copy again the solve uh, blur and yeah i'm gonna just put a little bit forward look something like this you can decrease a little bit of the blur mount also and i go i will do the same to the poster and okay uh our first part it's completed and as i said it's not very difficult it's not rocket science and again if you want to buy my editor's pack i promise you're not gonna regret it because it's really good so thank you so much and if you want a part two just drop a like it and drop your comment thanks so much and see you